Hello everybody and welcome back to my Phoenix Wright Pizza Journey playthrough. Where last time we started the investigation and all that. Um Here's what I'm gonna say. The partner they gave us, Emma, I have never met in terms of video games. He mm, like Okay, I don't know if you've ever heard of the problem where the thought is, is that what's the difference between memorizing and actually figuring out problems? So like the idea is like you would, you would as a kid, when you go through high school or middle school or even elementary school, you were taught multiplication, you would be taught just the times tables. Of course, there's the whole stuff where it keeps advancing, where common core is now fucking blah 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 blah. But look, you tell, you ask me what 12 times 12 is, 144. You ask me what 12 times 9 is, then you get me to figure it out, but generally it's to remember it. Well, 12 times 10 is 120. If you minus 12 from it, it is 108. Boom, bada bing, that's right now. Yeah, that is correct. 108. So you see? Fucking that stuff. I swear, this sidekick has only memorized the goddamn timetable. And if you were to give her equation, like, I don't know, 2 plus x multiplied by y is equal to 3. Give me the answer. She would not fucking be able to understand that. And while, of course, somebody would be like, Oh, you gotta go here, so you're now just including it. And the letters in the... Bitch, they're just fucking unknown uh, unknown variables. That's like the easiest one you could probably do. What's two times... It, two times two is four. Then minus... Or plus... Minus three. Or negative three is one. Or whatever the fuck I had said. That is the easiest, like, that is a common sense thing. Not even entirely. I don't know, this common sense is more of asking. <coughs> Why the fuck is there this arrow on the ground? Oh, it's because it's an entrance. And then being, uh, and the problem is the person who's trying to analyze everything goes and says, No, it's obviously an exit because there's no way an entrance and an exit could look similar in the early Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. Can you tell I'm having fun with this case? Anyway, we uh, were just having to examine a couple of things. Uh, apparently, um, there's this thing we can do where we can go basically look at stuff on the back. Uh, okay, you don't want to tell me what the fuck this says? What the fuck does this say? Oh my god, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> I can't even read the fucking name. Yeah, I know. Uh, Sergeant. Yeah. I wonder why they only use numbers. For ID. What else would they? Oh, I wonder why they use only numbers for IDs. What else would they use? That is silly. For the reason we have little language in the first place. Have you ever heard of a computer? True. Sergeant Bruce uh, Goodman. ID. See? Wouldn't that be better? No? Cause fucking you have to have multiple- Oh my fucking god, have you no- What the fuck is this assistant? Yabba dabba dabba? Oh, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point to you. Doesn't take much to amuse her. Oh, here's the fun bit. She's apparently like 15 or 16. And she, uh, oddly is in kind of the same boat as Adler, or Adder, where she seems to be weirdly saying that she's like, 
Okay, so I'm okay for the right to attend your age I'm at. Which I don't know if she's insecure about her age. Or if it's the writer's fucking. We'll find out. Look, a door. This must mean something. Good job, Emma. You want a cookie? I'm not sure that door means anything. No, it won't open. Mysterious lock. I, I fail to see what's so mysterious about it. It is a lock. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. I do. The problem is it gets drugged down by you idiots. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Okay, I don't know what the fuck else to investigate. Okay, I don't see anything. I guess we can just move back to the detention. Nope. Back to the fucking rock, though. <laughs> okay, apparently we're not fucking done. Fucking no. I don't. Fuck out, what am I supposed to look at? Good night. Yeah, fuck it. What am I supposed to fucking click? How the fuck am I already stumped in a fucking... I don't fucking see anything! Okay, fucking hell! My only thought is to go over to here and to present something to her. Here, see this? Yeah, I've noticed the defense attorney have a tendency to show people things. What is this, a behavioral study of lawyers? Oh great, thanks! Fucking, I don't know where the fuck to go now. Am I just supposed to fucking investigate further or what? Okay! I don't know what the fuck did I miss. I swear, if I have to fucking look through a walk- look up a walkthrough... On the first fucking investigation... I don't see anything to fucking click! Like, okay, what the fuck? The fuck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to fucking look at? Okay! Apparently I'm gonna have to look up a fucking walkthrough. So not only am I a fucking idiot, and also I want apparently no fucking common sense, but I'm gonna have to fucking look up how to fucking do this one.
Chase five. Because this is so far fucking annoying. Oh, you fucking bitch. You motherfucker. I didn't even realize you could slide. So, who's the one without common sense now? Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for these. Hmm. What would this is? A pot. Looks like you got no intention of going home huh? quietly. Mr. Marshall guy, the sheriff. Look, I said before, this here's I. You best be nosing around. Unless you're fixing the bottom bowl. Are you threatening me, officer? Yeah, scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who, who owns that car? Well, well, well. Little Philly's got a good nose on it. Okay, you're a fucking creep as well. So can you just shut up and fucking just tell it straight instead of fucking going and be like, I'm gonna mosey on circles around you until you fucking figure out what the fuck I'm saying. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with a body in her saddle? Please. No problem, partner. Not time for a uh, little thing. Get yourself to the saloon on the 12th floor of the prosecutor. Alright, just fine. I Vessa Black Lab. Prosecutor's office? The prospector office? Who does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? Take yourself, look up Fiddle Saloon. Yeah, what the fuck does Cervessa look? God, I'm already having fucking bullshit. Beer. Drinking, uh, Nick Savessa. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the High Prosecutor's Office. In any case, stay away from that. Okay. You can look around here all you want. Just keep your paws off of Right, great. Great. There might be some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me. Or you two all say it. Us? Oh, fuck. This is a different lady. Okay. What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here. This is a crime scene. What is this madness? Hello! Half and half, was it? The things. And you, sir? Yeah. Some crazy goodness coming at you. Thanks. Business. Sir, is off on us anyone without a clearance? Especially passengers. Were you officers? Uh, no, but you don't exactly have the type of clearance. Well, that's only a way to greet someone. Even in my days, if the cop of Green Albert. Even if my days is the cop of. What the fuck kind of youthism is that? Cough up, huh? No, I'm kind of feeling full. I'm, maybe I'll pass on one. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. Then why the fuck are you just selling lunches? The images are very much in my eyes, you might say. Yes. All the sorts. Secrets? Dear me, you're a slow one, aren't you? I mean, you're not wrong. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the, you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. 
The name is Angel Star. And don't you go forgetting it. All right, bitch queen. But before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Like I said, okay, bitch queen. Yes, ma'am. If she means it. I don't think so. All right, I'm pretty sure you're the killer. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was my day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is Sam. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know them. Fucking, can you stop acting like I'm supposed to know what the fuck your horoscope says? Just fucking spell it out. You should know the foulness deeds of the evil ones who hunt this den of any... any... Inequity. Evil ones. Prosecutors. They have no qualms about blocking the names of innocents. Yeah, you're definitely at least somebody who wants a prosecutor to go to jail. Yesterday, you paid homage to the most evil ones. Well, they gave an award for King of the Prosecutors. What a fuss. So, she's saying. Some sort of prosecutor of convention yesterday? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something from- Are you com- Are you admitting that you were willing to fucking go ahead and- God, you're a bitch. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, uh, people? Young miss, knock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the bitch queen. Ew. Most kindness of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunch of all. Really? Hey, what? I'm fucking don't know what the fuck you're talking about. One thing's clear: this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. So why the fuck do they have her? Like, why is any of her lunches on ground? She's just admitted that she could have possibly fucking... I mean, she didn't admit, but she did fucking allude to the idea that she wouldn't be against fucking going and poisoning people. What is this fucking case? The worst part is I'm aware that there's even more stupider ones. There's a reason I've been referring to Jell Apocalypse and his fucking stuff. Examine the toilet. <laughs> All right, what have you witnessed? So, what exactly did you witness, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle to be shown. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about women's breath. What? See Lana Sky wield that knife, sir. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut. So ring in my ears. Yeah, you're definitely connected. You just fucking talk too much like a fucking poet. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Mm, of course, it's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. Here, have another lunch. How many lunch boxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I want? What is your fucking problem? She always travels light. I, uh, now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? I don't know, she apparently is intending to kill somebody. Um, can we, uh, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunch. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the lunch, the box lunches are, are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? Yes, she did say something. Apparently you guys are fucking all fucking... She's a bitch, you're an idiot, and you don't have any fucking spine, but then again, you're like 15 or 16. So. Only the true kind of see us can understand. 
You see, I sample the finest of alcohol. It smells like a... Um, what is it? What was the joke? It smells like a uh, mural by Colin Muckery. You don't know that one. That's from Who's Line. Basically, <laughs> fucking one of the things was that uh, Colin was like, <laughs> what was it? I gotta fucking look this up. This is really stupid. Let's see. Who's Line is in any way? Colin is, uh... <laughs> Come on, please tell me it's here. God, it's so stupid. Okay, let, let's see. Something so fucking. Oh, I think this is it. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Is it here? No, it's the rest for you. Um, is it this one? Yes, it, it's right here. It's right here. Okay, I got this. one right here. I do murals with my own feces. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking line. And then they reference it later by saying this uh, this wine it tastes like a meal by Colin Mockery. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what the joke is, but it Oh that was Emma apparently. You can only that you can only tell someone who has uh, tried General Tao's Trello Bites lunch set. I don't think those things are even able to be created to be consumed anymore. Uh, never mind, you win. I don't even want to. Uh, I don't even want to appreciate part of the Trello Bites flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunch. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall the booth? I sell my lunches in since I'm here anyway. I drop in the scene. And since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far. You, Miss Star, are a bitch. Our lunch vendor with an ultra, with the ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. Okay. Do you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha. Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are alike. The bigger they get, the worse they smell. You really do have something against them. Like a ten-day-old clams, 
in the shelter. I wonder if Mrs. Starr was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, bitch queen. Thanks she was just lunch dinner, now I'm not so sure. To be honest, I don't think she is. Present my badge! Defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about a tackling lunch life and pickle supreme? Wow, it's really crunchy! Box of pickles. What a sad lunch, if you ask me. So wait, if I keep presenting, will she give me more? Nope, that was that one. About this card, or about this card. Lunch line vendors only accept cash, no card. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to be, uh, to the lunch lady you want? That's like showing a fine hunting ham to a detective. I always feel like I'm being mocked. I mean, she is pretty much. I don't fucking know. I know there's something where you're supposed to, like, find out about what the lunchbox she has. Okay, um... I don't... Uh, oh, yeah, we have the high prosecutor's office. We can head to now. Oh, fucking Edgeworth's. Oh, yeah, he's a fan of the Steel Samurai, if I remember. Uh, February 22nd, high prosecutor's office. Room 1202. This is the kind of room that screams I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. Trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix writes. You never tie up prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Von Karma, no! Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! from somewhere? Uh, uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! His sister introduced us in a... Right, her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, 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 did I? Uh, no, no. It was just Mr. Ray here, he, uh... Hey, don't blame me. We're just uh, he here to investigate a murder case. Murder. The body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. That's his car. That would be my car. What of it? <laughs> Fucking he's like, God, you really walked yourself into a corner, haven't you? What? Your car? Yeah, I remember that from the stupid fucking... Oh, God, I remember... What was that fucking video called? It was like muffled, mu uh, muffled music in the background. Or I, th yeah, it is. I think it's muffled rap music playing in the background, <laughs> and it's just Edgeworth driving up to the fucking place. I'll say one thing: she certainly can scream. Uh, just gonna fucking look around your office. To be honest, uh, I've been wondering, what the heck is this? Big K on it. I couldn't fucking tell. Wait, is that Karma's? Oh, King of the of Prosecutors. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors. King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. Send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. Oh, I get it. Because the idea is that they can... Uh, they can pierce any shield of defense. What? So? So, that K, that's... K stands for King? Hey, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors? Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. I'm wondering if he doesn't like it because of Unkarma. I would say a big K would kind of remind me of it, someone else named the K. King of the Prosecutor's Shield, huh? Well, well done, Edward. I'm proud to be King of the Prosecutor's. Congratulations, King of 
prosecutors. Please stop shooting. That still doesn't explain one thing. Why is the tip of the shield broken off? So is it supposed to be broken off or not? Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual one. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky trial jacket, right? We've seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind what's in the frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture? He's getting way too excited about this. Uh, anyway. My, my, my. What amazing bouquet. Just right for my straight for Hidden. There's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. Wendy Old Bag! And besides it, a giant steel samurai. Oh, I want one. Huh? Something written on the bottom of his foot. In a rock in a hard place. Wendy, yep, that's Wendy Old Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Look, last I checked, you said again, you're 15 to 16. He's fucking 24. By my math, again, you would have roughly, I don't know, again, it would be legally two years. But the problem is, again, he would be 26? So you're way too fucking young for him, pal. At least right now, anyway. We have to wait until he's, what, in his 40s or 30s for it to be anywhere near okay. Yeah, Wendy old bag. Um, I don't think so. You, it must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump, were you to jump out of this window, the time until impact at the ground would be. Got it. Partially 3.23 seconds. Ah, well, let's handle no. Fucking if it ever comes up. Ooh, cute. What a pretty seaside. I go for the more instant tea bags myself. Amazing, the drawer below uh, is filled with packs of tea leaves. All sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend and exquisitely splendid concoction. What are you supposed to do with this Such a thing as taking a copy too far. Uh. Oh, these are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even more. There's even a ladder. But Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. You must have someone to get them from. Probably gumshoe, yeah. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective... Okay, so that's just... That's just canonically, he's just flashing the fucking images of them. You must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on the ladder. So the question is, <laughs> fucking what uh, uh, Gump shoes that around to help out. Uh, he's just like, uh, fuck. The most recent case, it's at the top, and I can't. I'll need to call for somebody. Oh, Edgeworth! Oh wait, that's me. Work this. It's very tidy. It's sick. What a nice desk. He's to use and easy on the eyes. Oh, so well, I can even see my own fraction. Why did fucking Gumshoe appear again? Strange. Yeah. Maybe I'll take that uh, name plaque as a souvenir. I think that's called stealing. Don't. He'll sue you. Yeah, <laughs> he's a lawyer. <laughs> hey, a chessboard. I'm not uh, too up on my chest, but looks like I'm losing a tight spot. The Red Knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords are really sharp edges. Check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Wait, fucking... Okay, Edgeworth, what the fuck are you doing roleplay? Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. It's nothing. It's just 
just stab nothing. Just gonna continue to that. God, this has been a really weird case so far. But for the time being, we're gonna turn it off here. Thank you for tuning in all the jazz that subscribe. Comment down below to see the video. Another break. Where's the button? There's the button right.